Ah! Welcome to Castlevania, episode 2. Today we'll be going through the latter half of the, of the stages, which will be stages 4 to 6. Let's get started. So, as you see, we're in some sort of water cave area. There are fishmen, there are moving platforms, there are skulls, which I want to reiterate, you cannot walk through. I'm sorry, you can walk through. You can walk through the skulls, but they are not solid. You can't stand on them. That'll be important for about 10 seconds from now. I also want to mention, uh, I'm going to be getting extra stingy with my save states. Because, as you see, one jump is death. And as you see, they're not easing up on a bat to you, so I'm going to have to wait here. I whiffed my dagger. I whiffed my jump. I didn't... Oh, yeah, yeah, I... I wasn't joking when I said this would have this is gets, where it gets harder. Also, duck. Uh, these spikes, these stalactites, these stalactites are very much solid. And if you uh, hit them, you will fall. Because it acts like a solid wall. That was a stupid move. I forgot, this isn't Mario. I forgot, if you will. But, you can finally climb up and out of this horrendous area. And enter another horrendous area. Remember the Hunchbacks from Stage 3? Well, now they're being airdropped in by eagles. They're being airdropped. They're basically tactical bombing me. I hate this part. And it gets worse. These eagles, this is not the last time you'll see the eagles. They will be back. They will be back. And when they come back, it's not a fun time. Let's just murder some Hunchbacks here. Because, I should probably tell you, there's no real outrunning a hunchback. They are fast, they're annoying, I hate them. Ooh, an urn. That urn we picked up, basically is limited invincibility. Kind of shitty invincibility, but ugh. Meet everyone's favorite enemy, the Skeleton Dragon. They're annoying, they're hard to kill, they shoot fireballs from any direction at you. Any. No matter where you are, they can't aim a fireball at you. But that's only one. There's two more. I actually wish I had some holy water, because I can deal with these much easier. But, we're just gonna have to whip... Whip this Skelmer Dragon. Always a fun time, isn't it? Got some money, some hearts, more hearts, money. Why are them? That's a good question. Why is there money in the, in the lanterns? Or candles, the old lanterns. Why would Dracula hide his money bags in the lanterns? Like, isn't there a better place to put that? Maybe there isn't, I don't know. Maybe Dracula just needs to, uh, store his money in a place that no one look. Even though Simon just kind of came in and started, you know, destroying his castle. No, in no invite whatsoever. Just started walking in and started, uh, beating. Now, this is what I mean by Contra thing. Uh, we're already at the boss room. The stage isn't necessarily long, but it's hard because it's the NES. Anyways, here's the boss, Frankenstein and Igor. You want to hit Frankenstein, but Igor, the hunchback, will jump around and make your life a living hell. He shoots fireballs from any angle. Uh, what else is there? But Frankenstein himself will basically never attack you. We're just going to sit there walking back and forth. And we can't really holy water Igor here. And I'm dead. I can't really use holy water because I don't have any. So the best thing to do now is turn around and jump. Yeah, this is a very fun boss fight. Oh yeah, I should probably mention Eagle's unkillable. You can't actually kill him, I don't think. Like he's here to stay. So you actually you actually will have to take out the uh, Frankenstein. I don't really like this boss battle because Frankenstein doesn't really do anything, he kinda just walks back and forth. Which, they improved a lot in Castlevania 3. Because he actually uses his own boss. Oh man, thanks for the double shot. Anyways, that's the end of stage 4. Let's back up our time. And watch as our hearts slowly deplete. I have 50 of them. There we go. And now we're moving from whatever stage that was to stage 5. We're now making our way up the castle again. 
And we immediately start with hunchbacks in our face, so that's a good song. Funnily enough, I don't play this level too hard. Except for the like the last part. The boss's level is horrible. Oh, there's the holy water I wanted. Look okay, at that invincibility kind of uh gave us a bit of a buffer shield so you don't get hit by the skeleton. Or the hunchback, that's even better. So I think it's some sort of dungeon. Maybe this is where Dracula keeps his inmates so the skeletons that do him wrong. Makes sense, because we're basically getting boned by them all, all day. Literally getting boned. Maybe I can... There we go, holy water to the rescue. Sometimes the best thing you need in life is just holy water. Nice water that can cause fire in the ground. Let's continue our track through this dungeon full of skulls, which I'm guessing are Dracula's people that died. Never cleans them up. Oh, here are the red skeletons. They are literally dry bones from Mario 3. You hit them and they'll get back up, and you can't really kill them. Because they will always get back up. They're not too hard to take care of, as you can see. Probably the least threatening enemy in this entire level. As you see, that's why Hunchbacks are annoying, you can't really take care of them. Especially if they keep jumping over you. And you can't really run either, because Hunchbacks are much faster. So it's always a good thing to have an extended whip on you. That will help you hit the Hunchbacks much easier. Let's see, we're through the door. I think this is the area... Yep, meet the new enemy, the Axe Man. They throw axes that act like crosses. These guys aren't too hard to take out, but they can't get annoying. Because they always kind of move back away from you. Which leads them to despawn like that. That's something you can kind of abuse, get them to despawn, which is kind of funny. Speaking of axes... I just got axed myself. I just got axed again. The pain of finding an axe man, I swear. It's also kind of hard because there's no like telling what the axe man's gonna throw. As you can see, I think he's throwing axes, but he can't actually because he keeps going in and out of existence. But we got him. And there's another red skeleton up there. Gotta kind of be fast, don't like, uh, block the stairway, because he will block- that one can block the stairway and make your life kind of hell. Uh, how on earth, if you will? Not related to the, uh, first person shooter, Doom 2, in any way. I guess definitely Doom Eternal as well, but here's another axe man. I'm just gonna probably keep doing that. See if I can holy water him. Oh, yeah. That's my step to the flames of, I guess, eternal... I don't know, eternal light, maybe. But blessing him with the power of knowledge, apparently. Which also calls him to burn. But it's good for us, because uh, Axemen are trying to kill us. There we go. And we got a triple shot, which means we can now throw three holy waters. If I had that axe, that would, if I actually managed to pick up the axe really, that would probably help me. Be gone, as we travel through the next door. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be honest, being stingy with my save states again, on purpose, because the next boss of this stage is horrible, I hate it. I really hate it. I terribly hate it. Like seriously, the next boss is atrocious, but we can whip this uh, cannon from down below with these two skeletons, I'll wait till they get back up, actually no, only water. Uh, as you saw, I got some points for that. You'll get more points if you uh, take out enemies with one weapon. So if you hit two enemies with an axe, you'll get more. Uh, you'll get more uh, points for it. Medusa heads in my right. Always being a pain in the butt since whenever this game came out. With when I say 1987. Yeah, I gotta be a bit stingy with my, uh, save things. Did that hit me? I think that one axe kinda just didn't register, which is good for me. But at the same time, being a little tiny these Medusa heads.
Now, funnily enough, there can only be one of these axemen on screen at a time. Oh my god. I'm getting absolutely wrecked. I don't- I swear, I don't have this much of a hard time when I'm playing this part. I'm telling you, I don't have this much of a hard time. Oh, another axe man, yay. Did that despawn him? I hope it did. Nope. Okay. I'm telling you, it wouldn't be normally to be just stingy by health, but the boss? I hate the boss. In every game he's in, which is like almost every, I hate him. Anyway, speaking of boss, welcome to the boss room. And the boss is... DEATH! He doesn't attack you directly, he does kind of hop around a bit. But his scythes are the worst. They home in, they spin, they're annoying, you have to like take care of them, it's really tough. Some people actually consider this hard, I think, I would consider this perfectly, personally. Harder than the actual final boss. It's kind of sad, but I ugh. I want to holy water him because if I can holy water him, he won't be able to move. The thing about holy water is that it stuns. Okay, we got him down to half. Only one is actually pretty good for this fight if you hit it. If I can get rid of these gam scythes there. I really hate this boss fight. It's like I get the idea that this guy's like actually death. But this shouldn't mean the boss fight should be bullshit like this. I... I hate this fight so much. Cause like, Death himself doesn't really attack, he just jumps around. It's the scythes that do all the bad things. This, this fight is terrible. I'm not sure what's worse, this fight or the penultimate boss from Castlevania 3. You have to fight yourself, it's... <sighs> Die! There! And even after he died, the scythes still fly around. So that can happen, and you have to fight the boss again. But thank god, this level is over. God, that's terrible. Ugh, yeah. Anyways. It's on to the final level. On the final approach to Dracula's Tower. It's time to end this. Once we get past the bridge and the subsequent sections. So the bridge is kind of terrible also because the Phantom Bats are back. Remember the boss from uh, level 1? They're now their own thing. And by own thing, I mean they're now everywhere on this level. And you're gonna have to dodge him. Or take care of him yourself. I... If you can pull it off, running past is probably better. Using the watch would also be help helpful. Oh, I don't actually have to hush for it. That's why I couldn't use it. I swear, these bats are mind-gaming me. 
feel like I'm playing Smash again. Did have too fun of an experience last time. Ugh, at least it's not melee. Speaking of which, I guess about Smash, I don't really enjoy playing Simon. But that's a bit of a digression. Now we're now in the tower, the clock tower. It's time for us to get through this, and we are urging, stepping closer and closer to Dracula's. We are stepping closer and closer to Dracula's domain. I don't even know how I missed that jump. I just did. But it doesn't matter. It's time for the next level, next area. Which is this sort of tower. Because we're in a clock tower. And we're slowly walking up to the skeleton level. Didn't get hit, that's good, because we need my health for Dracula. Uh, might as well take it. Um, oh yeah, the Eagles. Remember I said about the Eagles being back? Oh, uh, the Eagles coming back? Well, they're back. And this area is kind of a hunchback hell. Because of that. And you can't do that either, because they'll kill you. Okay. Made it through, because the hunchbacks are kind of bad at climbing. Now it's time to survive the eagles. Which we did. Only got hit one, and we got hit twice. So that's much better than what this, how this usually goes. Let's climb. Get a heart, and... It's time to fight Dracula! We're on the final ascent to his tower. The moon's shining. Yeah, it's time. Take the cross, because the cross will help in this battle. Collect some hearts. We're gonna need as many hearts as we can get. Collect the money bag. And a head! Not just any head, though. It's the head of Dracula, who will now attack us. Dracula has one attack. He appears in random spots like that. And we'll shoot fire at you. You have to hit his head. Hitting anywhere else on Dracula will do nothing. Hitting anywhere else on Dracula will do nothing. As he says, it's getting wrecked by Dracula. If you time it right, you can take out all three fireballs at once. One thing you can do, however, is, if I can show it off, if Dracula... Something that Dracula loves to do, he loves spawning on you. Time to repeat that a bunch of times. That. The cross will dam will come back and if you're lucky, damage Dracula twice. But the fire is pretty hard to win. Oh yeah, yeah, give me a second. There. If you're asking why I'm being so stingy with my health, uh we'll see. mean Dracula really with spawning on you. Like, really like spawning on you. To the point where it's kind of like, annoying? Anyways... Uh, that's not good. Oh, no, it did. As you can see, I'm being very safe, Stingy. Okay, almost there. Had three, four health, three now. I guess I could take an attack. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, no, I don't want to attack too. Okay, one more hit. 
and he's dead. But now, it's time for the final phase! Dracula turns into a gargoyle, which can also only be killed by hitting the head. Which is, is basically the same, I'd say. The only difference is that now he jumps around. I also, I also think he takes multiple hits of damage up. But it's kind of like a Bowser fight from Mario, where he jumps high and just go under him. Double shot, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, we're just we're wrecking him currently. No, I got wrecked myself. There we go. And Dracula has died. There we go. That is Castlevania. Dracula is vanquished. And now, we can leave the castle, because, um, there's not going to be much of a castle to go back to anyways. There it goes, into the dirt, never to be seen again. At least to a sequel. Now we get to see the Sword of Sword credits, which I'm pretty sure are just, uh, names, kind of, uh, joke names, uh, play names on, uh, modern, on, uh, actors who actually star in these films. We saw this, like, we got a bunch of names on here, and I'm mostly sure these are just, uh, names, kind of play names on, uh, actual actors. Fishman. Everyone's favorite character, of course. Oh, it's not much to say. We've actually did beat the game, and our hero is Simon Belmondo, not Simon Belmont, apparently. You played the greatest role in this story. Thank you for playing. Yep, that's it. That's the game. Or is it? Now I'm gonna stop the video here, but we'll see how far we can get. When you beat the game, you'll actually be taken back to the first stage again. But if you look at the counter, it actually says stage 19. That's because we're basically playing a second version of the game, which is just harder. I'm not gonna play through this one because, well. We'll be play, basically playing through the same game again. But if you want to challenge yourself to see how far you can go, you can show me to it. I believe this game will run on basically infinite, or at least until you... At least until you glitch out one of the counters. Probably when you glitch out the level counter or something, maybe when you get to like level 256, the game might break. But, yeah, that's it. Thank you for joining me on the series, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!